Okay then my friends, so first up, what is Shard CN and why would we want to use it? Well, in simple terms, it's a collection of different UI components that we can then use within any framework that supports React components, whether that be Next.js, Gatsby, Astro, or whatever else. And the way we can use them is by either coming to the examples on the documentation and just copying and pasting them into our own projects, or by using the Shard CN UI CLI to automatically generate the components for us inside our project directory on demand. So it's a little bit different from a standard component library in that we don't have to manually install a Shard CN package via NPM or anything like that. We just pick and choose the components we need and we drop them directly into our own source code, either by copying and pasting or by using the Shard CN CLI to generate them for us. And there's quite an extensive list of different components we can use like buttons, form fields, dialogues, accordions, etc. They're all built on top of Radix UI primitives as well, which is a really low level UI component library with a really big focus on accessibility. And then they're styled using Tailwind CSS in a really clean and consistent way. So they offer the best of both worlds really, accessibility and a nice clean style. And they're really easy to pick up and run with. So in this series then, I'm gonna be walking you through how we can use just a handful of these different components in a Next.js project. And we'll be using the Shard CN CLI to generate them. We'll also be looking at how we can customize the components using different theme colors as well. So instead of the grayscale theme that we get by default, we could use colors like purple instead, like these buttons right here. Now, before we get started, I just wanna point out that I've created course files for each lesson in the series, and I've uploaded them all to this repo on GitHub. So I'll leave the link to this page down below the video. And each lesson in the series has its own branch in the repo. So to download the code for a specific lesson, just select the appropriate branch first, then hit the code button to download a zip folder of it. I do also wanna mention that before you start with Shard CN UI, it's probably gonna be best if you already know how to use Next.js or at least React, since Shard CN UI is built for any framework that supports React components. So if you wanna learn Next.js first, then definitely check out my Next.js masterclass, which I will leave the link to down below the video as well. Otherwise, feel free to check out some of my React playlists on YouTube as well. So I'm here on the Shard CN UI docs on the getting started guide. And you can see the first thing we need to do is make a new Next.js project, which we'll do in a minute. But then after that, we need to run the Shard CN CLI to set up a few things for the project. So when we run this command right here, it's gonna ask us a bunch of different questions to configure a components.json file, which then tells Shard CN a little bit about how we want our project to be set up. So questions like the base color we want the components to have, whether we want to use CSS variables for the theme colors, etc. And then once we've done that, we can freely use the Shard CN CLI again to generate UI components as we need them. So I'm gonna copy this command so that we can use it later. All right then. So the first thing we need to do is make a Next.js application. So let's do that now by coming to a terminal and we just wanna type npx create next app at latest to get the latest version. And then we're gonna give this project a name of ninja hyphen recipes or whatever else you wanna call it. And then we hit enter to create this project. All right then, so yes, let's proceed. And then TypeScript, yes. ESLint, yes. Tailwind, yes. Source directory, yeah, I'm gonna use the source directory. The app browser, yes. And no, we don't need to customize that. And that's gonna install the project for us. All right, so now that's finished, I'm gonna CD into that new project directory, ninja-recipes, like so. And then I'm gonna run that shard cn ui cli command that we copied before. So npx shard cn ui at latest, then init. And this is just gonna ask us a few different questions about the project. So first of all, yeah, we wanna use TypeScript, the default style, slate, and we do need to change this. So we need to go into the source folder, first of all, so source, then app, and then globals.css because we chose to have the source folder. Then press enter. Would you like to use CSS variables for the colors? Yes, we do want to do that. Where is your Tailwind config located? Yep, use the default, default, default. Server components, yep, we'll be using those. And yes, we want to do that as well. So now it's gonna generate a few different files for us. Now it's done that, I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code. And then let me just bring that over here. All right then, so now we've got the Next.js project set up and there's also some added extras inside this directory as well for Shard CN. 
So inside the source folder, you're going to see a components folder. First of all, this is where shard CNUI is going to place all the components when we generate them. Next, we've got a lib folder and inside that is a utils TypeScript file, which contains a helper function called CN that shard CN uses to conditionally add Tailwind classes to components. Inside the app folder, if you look at the globals.css file, you're going to see a bunch of CSS variables that shard CN uses for the colors of components. When you want to update your color theme, this is where you'd probably start. We're going to take a look at that later. And then finally, we've got the components.json file, which contains all of the information that we gave to shard CN when we set up the project. You're also going to see a few properties added to the tailwind config file as well to extend the theme with the color variables defined in the globals.css file. All right, cool. So, now I just want to clean this starter project up a little bit and also add a few lines of generic CSS to style headings and text. So let's actually do that first. I'm going to head to the globals.css file and paste in just a few CSS rules underneath all the variables and stuff. And these just target the main and nav elements to give them some margin and also P tags, H1s and H2s to apply some basic styling to them. All right. So now let's clean up the page file and also the layout file. So in the page file, I'm going to delete absolutely everything that comes along for the ride when we start a new Next.js project. Loads of content here. Let's get rid of all that. And then we'll replace it with just a main tag. And inside that, we'll say home. And then we'll get rid of the import at the top as well. We don't need that right now. Save that. And then let's go to the layout file. And what I'd like to do is just cut this. Then inside the body, we'll have a nav. Okay, let's create that from scratch. Nav inside the nav an h1 and that will say recipes for ninjas all right then below the nav we will paste in the children which is basically the page content so let's save that now and now we can try previewing this in a browser so let me say npm run dev this is going to spin up local server local host port 3000 so we can preview this in the browser and there we go my friends that is our project so far we have a title and we have the tiniest bit of content on the homepage. So in the next lesson, what we're going to do is try creating our first shard CNUI component, which is going to be the card component.